The Guardian asked their readers who should be person of the year, and it is an interesting uh, group that they have selected. I love it, and this is what happens when you have informed readers uh, who know what's going on in the world. So some of the uh, people that were nominated were Malala Yousafzai. She's, of course, uh, the girl in Pakistan who argued for education for girls, and she was shot. She survived, luckily. But it was a heartbreaking story, and a lot of people were moved by it. And the courage that she has as a young girl fighting for education uh, for people like her, it's amazing. And her parents uh, should get a tremendous amount of credit as well. Bradley Manning, of course, the whistleblower, uh, was on the list. And they think standing up to government, standing up to repression uh, were things that should be lauded. And he was nominated as well. And so was Pussy Riot, because they also stood up to a totalitarian uh, form of government and they uh, were brave in how they did so they faced imprisonment as Bradley Manning does so uh, they were on the list and then a person you won't see in a lot of uh, lists is Fabiola Gianetti she is uh, one of the women hunting the Higgs boson <laughs> I, I'm always terrible with the names but anyway she's a scientist this is what happens when you ask educated people hey you know what who should be on that list uh, Nate Silver was also on the list for getting the elections right and man, mainly for getting beyond the nonsense of the American mainstream media that calls everything 50-50. The fact that he concentrated on math and science and then of course since it's a British publication, Danny Boyle running the Olympics was also on the list as well. So who won? Easily, Bradley Manning. 70% of the vote. So from time to time I talk about if you believe Bradley Manning is an American hero, you are not alone. You seem like you're alone because if you listen to the American media, they always portray him to be a villain and how could he do this and he gave away our information. There's almost no one in the press standing up for him. The fact that he was tortured and a UN report says so that uh, the isolation that they kept him in and all this before he was even charged and the great number of years that he stayed in prison before the uh, they even brought him to trial, all these factors, uh, stripping him down naked at nights, all these different things that he withstood. Why? Because he wanted to bring transparency to the American government, and he did, and he revealed things that the American public should know. We should know what our military is doing in Iraq, Afghanistan. We should know that 15,000 more civilians died in Iraq than our government let us know. We should know that we killed first responders and journalists in that Apache war helicopter video. So the readers of The Guardian are absolutely right. I think Bradley Manning being person of the year is a brilliant choice. Of course, if you mention it here in the United States of America, it's considered heresy. How dare you? He's considered a villain in this country by the rest of the press, which ought to be absolutely ashamed of themselves. That's what the press should do. It should reveal what the government is doing in our democracy. Of course, since they don't do that, since they're not watchdogs, they're lapdogs, they of course speak out against Bradley Manning because they are literally embarrassed that he did what they're supposed to do. But I agree completely with The Guardian, person of the year.